Hey guys, Lazarus here and welcome to this quick color splash effect tutorial where we're going to go ahead and take this image on the left and turn it into something like this on the right. So we're going to go ahead and take this cab and leave that yellow and then we're going to go ahead and take everything else in the background and make that a bit um, black and white and darker. We're also going to go ahead and quickly add this um, shadow edge effect just to make this look a little bit nice and also just make some quick contrast and um, brightness adjustments okay so let's go ahead and close this and then open up your image and let me just move this into the right bit so you can see what I'm doing so open up your image it's it will be most likely your background layer so if it is then you can go ahead and double click this layer and then just click OK to unlock it uh, for me it's on a different layer so it doesn't matter so I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this image so let's go ahead and right click and duplicate layer now once we have that, we can come up to our image, adjustments, and then black and white. So once you have that, this window will pop up and we're gonna go ahead and click OK. So once we have that, we can go ahead and start erasing the bits that we wanna leave yellow or whatever color you wanna leave it in. So let's say you've got strawberries and you'll erase them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick my eraser. There are many tools that you can do this with. So you can do it with the pen tool or quick selection tool or whatever, and then delete that. But we're just gonna use the eraser to keep this very simple and quick, okay? So as you can tell, I'm just going around the um, yellow parts of the car. And I'm gonna do this really quickly because I don't want you guys watching me do this forever. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint it in very roughly or I should say erase the black and white image. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to do this very roughly because I don't want to spend ages on doing this. So once I have that around here, I'm going to go ahead and make the brush a little bit smaller. I just made a big mistake there, so I'll just undo that. So there we go. I'm nearly there. I'm just going to go ahead and move to this part of my image. And that should do it. Let me just undo that. Done a pretty good job in this short amount of time, to be honest. I'm just going to turn down my size a bit smaller again and just drag this line in. Okay, so that's great. Once we have the yellow bits of a car done, we're just going to go ahead and on the black and white layer, just go to image adjustments, brightness, and contrast. And we're just going to go ahead and turn down the. Um, we're going to leave the brightness where it is, sorry. And we're going to go ahead and turn up the contrast a bit, like so. Okay, so once you have that, I'm going to go ahead and grab these two layers. So shift left click and then press control E to merge the two together. Now once we have that, we can go ahead and go to adjustments again, brightness contrast, and we're going to go ahead and drag the brightness down quite a bit and then go ahead and drag the contrast up just to make this stand out a bit more. Maybe pump up the brightness. Okay, roughly around there, that should do it. Minus 20, 100. Okay, so once we have that, we're just gonna go ahead and add that quick shadow effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a new layer. And now I'm gonna go ahead and press B to pick up my brush tool, right click on my image. And make sure that you have a soft brush selected like this one. So around 300 in size and hardness is at zero. And make sure that it doesn't have a hard edge like this one up here. Make sure that it has a soft edge like this one. So once we have selected that brush, make sure that your foreground color is black. And then we can go ahead and zoom out. And we're gonna go ahead and start painting in um, this shadow effect. So as you can tell, I'm not painting on the canvas, I'm painting on the outside so I get this nice fallout effect and generally we're just going to go ahead and go all the way around this image to get a pretty cool shadow effect. Okay so that looks great and if you um, if you've done it too much you can always go ahead and play with the opacity of it so turn it down a bit or turn it up a bit like so and this is it for this tutorial guys so i hope you enjoy this effect and you're gonna have fun with it